Good morning everybody. Well, we've just had a little bit of a let up in the weather, stopped raining. I purchased a few um, gutters the other day. So I want to go around the back of the property, clear those gutters out, insert some new ones, cheating a little bit here. It's going to cover the holes. So we're just going to slide those in, in the old damaged zinc gutters. In that way it will just bridge the gap and uh, should get us out of trouble for a little while. I've done it before it does work. Right. Yeah, this is going to be a wet and mucky job but it's got to be done. I've got to say it stopped raining so that's half the battle. And mainly I'm going to focus on the back of the cottage. There's several holes along there where it intersects here. There's some holes there as well, so if I can divert all of the rainwater down and away, then we've got the slope of the land and we've got the gutter down there. So that's where I'm going to concentrate my efforts at the moment. It's just on this area here. And then the building, which is the barn, to the left of the cottages, I look at the back, all the rainwater goes that way and then out that way, so... I'm going to start there and work away. That'll be fine. Time to get mucky. Mucky. <laughs> That's the farmer collecting up the windfalls. Make that lovely cider. Yep, it's that time of year. Here's the plan. Those plastic new gutters I've laid in on top of each other so it flows that way away. Um, I've just got to cut the end one. Now I'm going to put some self tappers, which are screws through the galf into the new plastic so that they stay on the front face because what's happened, this is old guttering that was designed for a slate roof. Now they've put the terracotta tiles on, which are a later addition, and there's too much of an overhang. So um, yeah, I really need to keep them right at the front, the new, they're slightly smaller, the little gutters, but it'll bridge the holes and it'll just get the water away where it's meant to go, so. Just going to cut the end section now. Uh, once it's all screwed into place, I'll get some water and we'll test it. Hopefully, it's hard to tell the level here actually because there's so many different levels, but it should be all right. We've got the end section here to cut and the off cut will just bridge that hole in the bottom gutter there. And then once it starts flowing, that gutter's not too bad that end. If there's any holes there, I'll, I'll clean it out and I'll use some, uh, some mastic or something like that. Let's test it. Does water run uphill? The answer is no, but it runs downhill. It is working. Any leaks below? I don't see any. No, that's the other end. But 
the majority of it is running past and you know, down to that end, which is the main objective. We've got one leak there. Okay. That's not too bad. I'll get some sealant for that. That is a success. Now these gutters, I'll plan for another job. What I'm going to do with these, because they're too small for um, this application. Um, they're going in the greenhouse and I'm going to divert the downpipe and these are going to be placed above the beds and all the rainwater will come in and when I, when I need to I'll divert it into the greenhouse. These will have slits in the bottom so there'll be a network of gutters running round and then back out the other end. So when I want to water the greenhouse I'll turn the diverter and it self waters. Well, the rain has just eased off a little bit. I had to go in and get changed. I was absolutely soaked, smothered in silicone and mud. But I've done it. I've got the, the gutter now over the back of the cottage so it doesn't leak. So I'm not getting any penetrating, splashing water up the back wall of the cottage. So I'm not going down on the clay. I'm up here on the grass. And I'll just show you that he's actually working. I now have the new plastic gutter lined in the old one. It's all been silicone together. Quite a tricky job, let me tell you. Now, if you're saying, why didn't you do that first before you put the gutters in when they was dry? Well, I needed to make sure that they all connected together and that the water flowed correctly. Because once you use silicone in a job like this, if you have to take it off again, you're in a real bad place. So that's why I done it dry first. It was tricky, but it worked so we've got no ingress of water across here which is the main thing it's a little bit leaking here not too much though and then of course there's lots of holes in this one but the ground's a lot lower and it's flowing away better that end so the main task to get that dry which it is so and while i'm outside i think i'll go and have a look in one of my barns i'm thinking about the fireplace in the cottage i wanted some support beams just wanted to check that i haven't got anything myself so i've got lots of bits of timber i'm gonna take a look now i've got lots of big wide planks i've stripped down from buildings outside but i'm not sure i've got anything for the dimensions i need this is quite a nice bracket Oops, I'd like to incorporate. Some nice detail, and I've had that for years. Oh, I forgot about these little lanterns. They could look quite nice outside the cottage and some brackets. I found that though. That can come in very handy when I'm repairing those gutters. Improve membrane. They are too big, I think. Impossible. Yeah, it's got to look proportionate to the opening. I think that might just be too big. I don't know yet. Got another storage area here for timber. They're quite large. Now I've got this old piece. Needs drying out, obviously. Now this was the the ridge, the ridge beam of the old oops, of the uh, oak A-framed barn that was actually in this area. It was much longer, and I did shorten it. But this was the ridge beam. And it's got a bit of character. It does need cleaning up. Could run a tape over that. Possibility. Yeah, I want it to be rustic, but they've still got to be strong and do the job. Yeah, this is another area that we will be tackling in the next few months. We've had it cleared. We've got some great ideas, me and Sam, with this. I've purchased two great items yesterday. They should be coming in the next few days, and uh, I'll share them with you. I'm really interested to see what what they're like in real life. I've seen them online, and I've as soon as I see them I bought them I thought I know just the place for for those so as soon as I get them I'll share those with you 
Okay, let's just have a take a little moment. This lovely view. This is why we picked this spot. We just see ourselves sitting down here. There's going to be a bit of a structure like a wall, maybe an arch. Yeah, looking forward to doing this as a bit of a change. But until then, let's get back to that cottage. So it looks like I've got a few possibilities with the timber post I want to support the chimney with. You know, the the opening down below in the which will be the living room. Um, I'm going to sit them on some nice stones as well. I've got quite a few of them lying about, so I'll just get my gloves on. Saw some of them. I'm not going to do it straight away, but I like to have the materials at hand. Yeah, let's get some gloves. Got me gloves. So while I'm in here, let me just explain. I need two nice posts to come down to the floor, just so it gives that some added strength. And then, of what idea I've got. It's a post to each side and then along here build up the stone wall with a little wooden seat each side wood burner in the middle post low wall and a little seat so you can see either side always wanted to do that i think this will be the opportunity to do it now there's quite a few stones here yeah there's a few candidates there that i could use this one's too big Oh, there'll be some in there. Here I go again, getting wet. Okay, right, I'm not going to get sidetracked. I'm going back up and sort that roof structure out in that cottage. So just before I fix it, I need to wedge it off of the purling so it's underneath the battens. Sometimes I need wedging, sometimes I don't. Now that piece of oak that I just drilled into, it looks like it's, it's in better days, but it snapped the drill bit off, it was that hard. And I pre-drilled that one, so shows you how hard they are. Right, I'll have to swap over to this drill now. Just keep it in place. Do the same the one to the right and I'll square it up just before I cut these out. Once again just a temporary fix with a bracket. This one's coming out and there'll be a new rafter in place of this one so I'm able to cut that one out so just for now. That's tacked in, so I can work either side of the opening now. Nice feeling when you know you're improving something. Should last a few more years. So what did you think of that fire that I got the other day? That was a real bargain. I'm hoping I don't need it too soon, but I'd like to have it, you know, ready for when I do need it, so, yeah. That was a real bargain. 
Now talking of fires indoors, I went to a Vid Grenier yard sale Sunday and managed to find um, a really useful, not a copper piece, but it was a useful fire guard for our fire because the little kittens are coming in there climbing over everything and I uh, put it on yesterday. I all went up to it and looked at it and thought, mm, how can we get over this? But it's keeping them well away from the fire. I've got no fear at the moment, but they're gradually getting used to things. They're climbing and into all sorts of mischief. <laughs> like I say, the other day we went in and uh, they was all climbing up the curtains. Yeah, have to have your eyes peeled at all times. Now let's get this fixed. You certainly notice the difference drilling into this compared to the softwood. Now this softwood in France is yellow because it is impregnated with a treatment. That's not to say that I didn't buy any copper at the Vid Grenier because I did. I'll show you what I've got in a, in a little while. about this. Now this is a copper stand for your umbrellas. Well, how posh is that? Also, got some nice old utensils. All iron, all handmade. They'll clean up. Very nice. Like this. Nice little memorial on the front. It's not hundreds of years old. It's got a little bit of age to it. That looks smart in someone's hallway with some umbrellas in there. Or walking sticks. So yeah, this will be cleaned up. So all these, and they'll be put in my website shop, welcome to Seansworld.com. So if you haven't already, check that out. There's a free blog. Just subscribe and you'll get the updates. It's kind of like a central hub for everything that's going on with the videos. So yeah, check that out. Back to work. Great, that's my wood drill fit. What I plan to do here is drill through threaded rod, nuts and washers each side, and clamp the two old and new purlins together, giving it real strength and uh, rigidity. So that is it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell and the like button, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.